Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Magnetic Tape. See, Magnetic Tape, it is the form of auxiliary storage. So let us discuss properties, construction, advantages and disadvantages. Let us begin. To start with the auxiliary memory, you must be aware that auxiliary memory, it stores program or any information for a long time. Even if that information means that is not currently in use, it can hold the data for the future purpose also. Means even if, means this is a kind of non-volatile, even the power failure is uh, happens over there in case of power switch off, switch on, even it helps stores the data. So auxiliary memory, it is a lowest cost, highest in space and slowest approach storage in any computer system. And it is also known as a auxiliary storage, secondary storage, secondary memory, external memory and external storage. In earlier forms of auxiliary storage, it is known as punched paper tape punched cards and magnetic drums. These were the forms of the auxiliary storage. But from 1980s onwards, there are some very popular auxiliary storage. Some of you must be aware with, which is magnetic disc, magnetic tape and optical disc. Here in this particular diagram, you can see the various auxiliary memories have been shown. Now come to the next, which is about the magnetic tape which is about the today's topic. See, magnetic tape, it is a serial access type storage. Serial access type storage means data can be accessed in sequential manner. In case if there is a requirement to access the data at a particular location, so either this tape has to move forward or tape has to rewind to that particular location which is requested for the Excess. That is why it is serial excess type storage device. It is suitable for backup storage as I have already told you. And if you have to list out some of the examples of magnetic tapes, you can say it is used for backups in servers, workstations and large computers. Even magnetic tapes are also used for transporting data from one place to another place. Since its nature is sequential, so they are not suitable for those types of data files where there is a requirement to frequently update, revise, right? This is the limitation itself. Or you can say magnetic tapes can also be used as offline storage, secondary storage. You can see a picture about this magnetic tape. So this is made from uh, Mlar plastic material and this is coated with the magnetic material. Magnetic material means oxide, iron oxide on one side of tape only. The coating is done on only one side and these magnetic tapes, these are available in variety of sizes means for half inch, one by four inch, eight mm and three mm in size. There are various kinds of tapes means with the different tracks. In early days, usually nine tracks were used to store a byte along with one parity bit. But nowadays, or you can say latest tapes, they use 16, sorry, 18 or 36 tracks to store. 18 tracks means it can store one word along with a parity bit and 36 tracks means two double words with parity bits, right? And if you talk about means half inch tapes, these are very costly and they are not commonly used. Even the very few companies are there who are manufacturing half inch tape. It comes in real forms. You must remember uh, and some of you must have seen the magnetic tape. So this is in the form of the reels. So modern magnetic tapes for hard disk backup, they usually come in the cassette form. So there is a very uh, like uh, systematic uh, procedure to store the information. So the data on the tape that is being organized in the form of the records, you can say record one, record two and record three. So 
here the data in this particular ta uh, like tape that is being separated by a gap you can see gap over here you can see gap over here so gap between two blocks that is known as a inter block gap so if you are talking about half inch tape half inch tape that is being divided into means there is a division in between the uh, horizontal rows and the vertical columns so half inch magnetic tape that is divided into horizontal rows which is known as tracks or you can say channels and vertical columns known as frames so frames are the vertical columns and tracks or uh, like channels that is the horizontal rows so if we talk about nine track tape nine track tape drive system means that in that particular case eight bits are used for the binary information means whatever the information is being used and the ninth bit is the parity bit and that parity bit is used for the error cut checking right so parity bit here we are using only when one bit parity it means it cannot detect multi bit errors it can detect only one bit error only so when we are talking about records as you have seen over here r1 r2 r3 records so when number of records needs to be stored in a tape you can see in this in this particular diagram record 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 if we say record number 1 this is record number 2 this is record number 3 so in between two records you can see there is a gap and this gap is known as a inter record gap means the gap between two adjacent records that is known as a inter record gap and there are some pointers also markers also means there is a reflective marker uh, which is being available at the uh, initial point there is a end of reel marker so there are various markers which are used to identify which is the start of the reel which is the end of the reel right that is the kind of marker so you must be able to understand what is inter record gap and what is inter block gap now if we have to understand how the tape moves about its like mechanism so here you can see this is the tape motion tape mechanism overall assembly is being shown so that magnetic tape that is mounted on a magnetic tape drive for the excess obviously there must be a some drive which is being used on upon that that particular magnetic tape will rotate so the basic magnetic tape drive mechanism that consist of a supply reel take up reel and read write head assembly as you can see over here and magnetic tape moves on tape drive from supply reel to take up reel you can see this is the direction of motion of tape from supply reel to take up reel right uh, with its magnetic and here you can see because here the magnetic coating is being done on one side so that magnetic coating side passes over the read write head you can see the magnetic coating will be the inside one so that is how this overall assembly works and this drive mechanism takes place and the storage capacity of tape also varies a lot means if we talk about 10 inch diameter reed of tape uh, which has 2400 feet long that can store 180 million characters so depending upon the capacity it can store the information and accordingly there will be a length in the tape reel itself so this is how you can explain and there is also a requirement to improve the efficiency also means uh, anyhow if you are going to construct something so efficiency is a very important factor so for this particular magnetic tape efficiency can be improved if we record a single unit on the tape right means to improve the efficiency utilization of a number of records if we group those number of records into a form of block and each and every block is recorded as single unit on a tape that will improve the efficiency so this is how it works here i have listed out some of the features 
I've already told you this is low cost. It can store large amount of data, easy to carry for transportation. It is not suitable for random access because here it is a serial access type storage. It moves in a sequential manner. Data can be accessed in a sequential manner. It is a slow access device. It must be prevented from the dust suitable for backup storage. Some of the advantages, low cost memory, it provides backup, it can be used for large files, copying the data is very fast, very easy. Even it can be used to transport the data from one place to the another place or you can say from one computer to another. So this is how these are the various advantages. It is very compact, right? Memory is reusable, long term storage. But at the same time, there are certain disadvantages. Disadvantages or you can say drawback, it stores information sequentially. So means it does not allow us to access any random uh, file, any random data or any direct data. So means a file or a particular information cannot be accessed directly or randomly. There is one more uh, demerit means it requires caring also when there is a storage of information, vulnerable, humidity, dust free, suitable environment must be available and stored data. Once the data can be stored, that cannot be easily updated or modified because of its sequential nature. There is one more demerit you can say, uh, magnetic tape, they need complex mechanism to keep its constant speed and to start and stop the tape without breaking it. So these are the various drawbacks and disadvantages. Thank you so much for watching this video.